the faceless TikTok account that you can see on your screen right now has less than 20K followers. They've posted less than even 10 videos, but yet they've managed to gain over 4 million views in a short amount of time. In this video, we're gonna talk about exactly what this account does, how much money they make, and more importantly, what you can learn, what you can take away from this account example and apply into your own TikTok creativity program data strategy. So you can go into 2024 and make as much extra side income as you can, or even go full time using this opportunity from TikTok that is not gonna last forever. So yeah, let's jump straight in. Okay, so let's talk about exactly what this account does. Okay, so as you can see, the account is called puppet.scary and quite simply, the content that they do revolves around weird, strange, somewhat scary looking puppets. But these are huge life-size puppets, giant size puppets that are put together in various areas of the world. They've compiled these videos, they've put them together on this account for people to watch and judging by the viewership, clearly people are interested in this sort of topics. The first time that I've come across an account like this on TikTok, but this is what I'm about, discovering new potentially untapped niches that you can also jump into to make the most of this opportunity. So as you can see, they've got 1.1 million views on one of their videos. The most recent video has got 23.3K, doing very well. And they've also got a video that said 1.8 million views and another one that's at 2.7 million views. They've only got seven videos uploaded at the time of sharing this YouTube video. And if we have a look at the date of the, this video they uploaded, that was five days ago at the time of recording this. Five days they've posted seven videos and they've gained more than five million views on TikTok. Now, in terms of how we can tell if they are in the creativity program beta, watch the duration of the videos. I'm just gonna do a quick scroll through um, of some of their videos. So if you pay attention to the bottom of the video. And as you can see, all of their videos are a minute long, which can only mean one thing. They've done them just long enough to qualify for the creativity program beta. Okay, now that you've seen that, you're probably wondering how much money do they make exactly? Let's jump into that. Now, in terms of how much money they make on this account, an estimate at a RPM of 50 cents, which is the average RPM, um, we can estimate that they're making anywhere from around 2,000 to 2,500 in just these seven videos over the last five days. Keep in mind, these videos are blowing up. They've only posted seven videos in five days, so you can only imagine how much they'll be making after 30 days of consistent posting. And that's an RPM of 50 cents. That's just an estimate. It's likely they could be earning much more than this. TikTok RPMs are known to go up to as high as $2.00 per thousand views they can also be slightly lower but regardless this person is making an absolute killing just from having posted these seven videos now that you've seen that you're probably wondering how do they go about putting these types of videos together so let's jump straight into that In terms of how they put these videos together, all we're seeing is just some music. Um, you probably won't hear it for copyright reasons, but very similar to the other faceless accounts that I've profiled on this channel. Um, all you've got is the video clip of the puppets being put together or being lifted rather and being displayed. And in all honesty, that's pretty much it. All they need or all they're using is just a bunch of video clips that they put together, um, which they source from somewhere. They put in a song, which is probably within TikTok itself. And then they do the SEO behind hashtags as well as the video descriptions. All you need is just the video clips from around various sources around the internet. You can look on sites like Reddit. You can look at Facebook groups, Reddit communities, different vlogs and other different communities online. Once you have source the different clips you can even pay for someone if you can afford to hire someone off sites like Fiverr um, to source those clips for you and once you have got them all you then need to do is put the video clips together using a tool like CapCut once you have put them together and they're just a minute or longer you upload them onto TikTok you add the music using the TikTok app and of course in terms in terms of their search engine optimization, all you need to do is just make sure that you've got the right hashtags using the TikTok search bar, hashtags that people are searching for, and of course, make sure that you've got a proper description as well. All these uh, have included is just two word description and an emoji. Again, something that I'm seeing a lot on a lot of the faceless niche accounts that I've profiled on this channel. 
and that is pretty much it music is freely available within tiktok and from there it's just a case of volume and just uploading as many of these types of videos as you can until you get to a position where one of them breaks out and you get more views than, no than normal and you just rinse and repeat whether it's someone that has another account and they've seen success and scale that onto this account i'm not entirely sure but because they're not using their face they're not using their voice this is a huge opportunity where you can scale this type of content this type of videos um, and either repost them onto the same account or start a new account and repost them onto that account as well so you've got chances of not just earning from your one account but you can earn from more than one account which you can do um, within the creativity program beta as, um, as long as you are abiding by the tiktok community guidelines if you want to see a bunch of other examples of people that are jumping on the tiktok faceless account wave and making a ton of money on the creativity program beta the video that is currently on the screen right now will show you a bunch more examples that i go through i'll see you in there the small new faceless tiktok account that you can see on the screen right now is easily making anywhere from 10k and up on the creativity program beta per month and in this video i'm going to walk you through exactly what this account does what type of videos they do how they put these videos together and more importantly how much it is exactly they make also we're going to be looking at what you can take away going into 2024 to apply into your own tiktok account in order to make as much money as you can and start the year 2024 strong i've done the best that i can to condense a lot of information into a short period of time on this basis it will make a lot more sense to those people that watch the video all the way up until the end of it without any further ado let's jump straight in The account in question is called The Ocean. They post videos mainly themed around how dangerous the ocean is with a specific focus on the North Sea. You can see video titles like The Most Treacherous Sea, The Most Dangerous Job, The Biggest Icebreaker, Big Ship Launches, Big Anchor Cleaning, etc. The amazing thing about this account, at least from what we can see publicly, they only started posting on the 19th of December 2023, 13 days ago at the time of recording this video. They've already pulled in at least 17 million views. And this creator does not show their face in their videos, nor do they use their own voice. The videos are simply clips, text and music for the most part, but we'll circle back to that a bit later. We know that they're in the creativity program beta because not only do they qualify, but all of their videos are either a minute or just over a minute long. For those who don't already know, in order to qualify for the creativity program, you need to have a US-based account or wherever you're based, as long as it's a qualifying country. You need to be at least 18 years old, have at least 10,000 followers, and have at least 100,000 video views in the last 30 days. I go into more detail about this on the video you can see on the screen right now. It will also be linked in the description. I advise checking that out after this video if you're interested in learning how to qualify for the creativity beta in 2024. In terms of how much they make, earlier we mentioned that they have at least 17 million views in the last 13 days. I've based this number on mainly the videos that they've gone viral, not the smaller ones, so they most likely have more views than this. On the creativity beta, you don't only get paid for your total video views, but all of these views need to be classed as what's called qualifying views. I've linked the video in the description where I go into more detail about what qualifying views mean for you to check out later. Now we just need to know that they most likely will not have been paid out for all these views. Qualified views are unique video views from the For You feed and exclude views with fraud, paid views, disliked views, views with less than 5 seconds watched, promoted views and artificial views. Videos must reach 1000 view feed views to start generating earnings. Based on an estimate of 17 million views at a 50 cents average RPM, we can estimate that they've made so far $9,000 from just 13 days of posting content. The 50 cents RPM is just an average estimate. They could easily be earning way more than this if they have a higher RPM. Even if their qualified views are less than 17 million, they still would have brought in more than most people that are working twice as hard, in most cases doing nine to five jobs that they don't even like. Once they've completed a full 30 days of posting, they will most likely be hitting five figures, which will earn them more than most people that are working a normal nine to five. In terms of how they make these videos, this is the easiest part because these videos are simply made up of three main ingredients, the video clip, music, and on-screen text. The video clips can be found on TikTok, YouTube, Reddit, Google Blogs, etc. As long as you either somehow obtain the relevant copyrights or edit the video to an extent that it can be deemed different 
from the original clip so you can most likely upload it under fair use as long as you put your own editing spin on it make sure that you do your own research on copyrights to be on the safe side music is found within tiktok the song is called hoist the colors and most videos in this niche use this very same song if you've seen the film pirates of the caribbean you'll definitely know this song titles and hashtags can be found by either seeing other accounts that are doing well in your niche are doing or using tiktok search to understand what people are searching for For example we can see that in pretty much all of their videos they use only four to five hashtags they almost always use the hashtags big biggest storm scary their descriptions are almost always three to around seven words including a shock emoji spotting patterns like this can help you understand why accounts like this are succeeding if they're doing something over and over again that's because it works they probably put the clips together using tiktok or capcut which in many ways is the same thing now that you've seen this example of a small account new account that's crushing it on the creativity beta you might be wondering what other accounts and niches are making around five figures a month on tiktok even though they're faceless and barely and in most cases don't even use their own voice if you click on the video on the screen i've got a bunch more examples i'm going to show you right now i'll see you in there the tiktok page i'm going to talk about in this video is faceless and is absolutely crushing it on the creativity program beta easily making anywhere from five to ten thousand dollars per month in this video we're going to talk about exactly what type of videos this account does how they go about making these videos, how much they make exactly on the creativity program beta, and more importantly, what you can learn from these examples. Let's jump in. The account is called Armed Stories. They talk about armed forces related content, mostly to do with fighter jets, as you can see, but other interesting topics relating to armed forces, the military, etc. So they found a really, a really good niche and it's a good example of niching down 108,000 followers. It's a relatively new account as well with the earliest video that I've found being in September 2023. They get a healthy amount of views as you can see just this month alone. They've had videos that have gone 1.7 million views. There's another one that's got 4.5 million views, another one that's got 1.8 million views and they're easily getting anywhere from eight to 10 million views, at least they did in December. So they'll be averaging roughly around there per month. Now, in terms of how we can tell that this account is in the creativity program beta, I'm just gonna do a quick speed run here and click through a few videos so you can get an idea of the vi what the videos look like, how they're put together. You might not hear the audio or the music for copyright reasons, but what I'd like you to pay attention to is the duration of the videos, which I'm going to highlight at the bottom of each video that I'm going to play through. So, so as you can see, pretty much all their videos are just over a minute long, which will be for one reason, they are making sure that their videos are qualifying for the creativity program beta. And as you can see, they've got a really nice, clear, consistent theme. They've got the same font that they use on every video. They use more or less similar music. Their descriptions are more or less the same as well. The same. In a second, we're gonna talk about exactly how much it is they make. And let's talk about how they put these videos together relatively straightforward you won't have heard the audio from the videos that i've shown um, but what i can tell you is the footage that they've got will be to do with whatever subject they're talking about within the military meaning that they have done their research and they have got b-roll footage that is exactly about the topic or the subject that they're talking about like in this case for example they're talking about the a10 warthog aircraft from terms of where you can get b-roll for this so if you go onto websites like video blocks and if you type in fighter jets and they've got a wide variety of different types of fighter jets that you can get from there you've got f-15s f-18s and a bunch of other types of aircraft you can go on websites like pexels there's paid options there's some unpaid options but as long as you're able to get footage that is closely tied to what you're talking about and in terms of the actual content ai tools like chat gpt you will get as much information as possible about that particular type of aircraft especially if you've got the web browsing version of chat gpt blogs websites that are army related will have more or less all the content that you need when it comes to 
what you can talk about in these particular videos. Descriptions are not too detailed, they're more or less similar um, in terms of the hashtags that they're using. Again, these are based on what people are searching for, so you can easily find these using TikTok search and that will give you what hashtags attract the most audience and a really good example of niching down within a particular niche and finding an audience that is interested in a specific subject within that niche. Music, they will have gotten that within TikTok. Again, the text, most likely they'll be using CapCut to get the type of text that you can see on the screen. As you can see, it's exactly the same type of text on every video. Now, in terms of how much this account is making from their creativity program beta, if we go on to social blade stats, we can see that they, in the last 15 days, they've brought in 5 million views. Now you have to take into account that this is just the last 15 days. If we're talking about an entire month, they've most likely brought in a lot more than just the 5 million views. We can see there they've had a video just in the last couple of days that's got 1.7 million views. They've got a video with 1.3 million views. They've got one with 4.5 million views. That was in December as well. Another one with 1.8 million views. Another one with a million views. So they are anywhere from 7 to 10 million views just in the month of December alone. And if we were to work out based on a, an estimated RPM of 50 cents on the creativity program beta, they would have bought in easily 5,000 just from these videos they've had this month and again you have to take into account that their videos are getting a lot of engagement a lot of views and chances are they are going to continue to get viral videos as they continue to upload they do upload pretty consistently as well which is helping the account grow and gain more views and make as much as possible on the creativity program beta so really good example not using their faces they're not using their voice they're using an ai voice which again will have they will have gotten that from the likes of 11 labs or similar AI voice websites based on how they've put their videos together hoping that you can get some inspiration and some idea of how you can go about putting your videos together as well going into 2024 so if you want to see other examples of accounts that are absolutely killing it when it comes to the creativity program beta these accounts are faceless don't use their own voices if you click the video on the screen right now i've got a bunch of other examples that i can show you so hopefully you can get some inspiration going into 2024 i'll see you in there the account you can see on the screen right now is absolutely smashing it on TikTok, making anywhere from five to 10,000 a month without showing their face, without using their own voice on the TikTok creativity program beta. And of course, we're gonna walk you through exactly what it is this account does. We're gonna talk about how much money they are making exactly from the creativity program beta. And so you can understand what opportunity is available for you in 2024 to also make a little bit of money on the creativity program beta. We're also gonna deconstruct the videos and talk about how exactly they go about making these videos and what opportunity is there for you. So if you're serious about growing your influence on TikTok in 2024 and make a living and potentially even make a full-time living while you are doing this, I can guarantee you, you're not gonna to wanna to make this, this one so come with me let me show you so in terms of what this page is about they make videos about interesting scary and strange facts these are random facts ranging from stuff about making dentist appointments all the way to facts you didn't know about Fortnite. they do this in a visually appealing way which hooks the viewer and keeps them watching thanks to the text on the screen the ai voice and weird background videos with the earliest video going back as far as August 2023. Now, before we jump into how much exactly they make, let's quickly talk about the things that they're doing over and over again that keep them growing and making as much money as they are. So in terms of what's working for them, there's a couple of things they do in every video that I've noticed. So for example, they use the same description and five hashtags for every video. So they continue to appeal to the same large audience. They also encourage their audience to engage by sharing and selecting WhatsApp. They also use the same spooky background audio, occasionally changing it, but they stick to the same two, three songs. In terms of their video scripts, they start by stating a shocking fact and then repeating the video title. So letting the viewer know that they're in the right video because of this. As soon as you click on the video, you feel like you're in the middle of the video already. Now, in terms of how we can tell that they're in the creativity program beta, you can see all of their videos are just over 
a minute long. That is not a coincidence. They know exactly what they're doing. In order for your video to qualify for the creativity program beta, once you've already applied or accepted, the video needs to be at least over a minute long. Of course, if your video is not at least a minute long, it will not qualify for the creativity program beta. Now jumping into exactly how much they make, according to Social Blade, they received 6.4 million views and 100K likes in the last 15 days. The average creativity program beta RPM is around 50 cents for every thousand views. So based on these figures, we can estimate that they may roughly 3,200 every 15 days. Now, even if we deduct qualified views, they're probably still making around um, over 5K per month minimum. Now, these are just estimates. Um, they could be earning much, much more than this or slightly less. Um, we also have to take into account that last month they had a video which absolutely went super viral gaining them 26.5 million views. That one video alone could have made them as much as 10 to $13,000, just that one video. We have to also take into account that they are very, very consistent in uploading content. In the last week alone, they uploaded 13 videos as a minimum. Based on that, they're giving themselves every opportunity to make as much money as they can using the creativity program beta. They're really putting themselves in a good position for this. In terms of how they make their videos, some of the tools used um, or similar tools will be linked in my description as well. So do check those out if you are interested in supporting. The Number one, in terms of their script, when it comes to the actual facts, you can easily go into Google and type in random interesting facts. You'll see that there's already a bunch of websites and blogs that have the information that you need as long as you don't carbon copy it exact way that it's presented on those blogs you can pretty much use those same facts in your videos as well there's also ai tools like chat gpt the internet browsing version or my favorite tool which is google bard which is completely free and still browses the internet these tools will be quite happy to find some facts for you online that you can in turn present on tiktok now number two in terms of music that's easy you just use the sounds that are provided within tiktok and you can check out what type of music other similar accounts are using within your niche as well and try and be as close as possible to that, especially the accounts that are doing very well, the accounts that are where you want your account to be. In terms of the background videos, websites like pexels.com will provide the weird, stunning, and sometimes beautifully satisfying videos that you need. The good news is that based on what I'm seeing on this account, the videos have nothing to do with what they're saying. So you can pretty much use the same videos over and over again, as long as you just occasionally change them. But it doesn't have to be videos that have to do with what you're talking about, with the facts that you're stating. Number four, the AI voice. That's another easy one. You can use a tool called Eleven Labs. There's also InVideo, which is linked in the description. There's also Pictory which is another really good one that should be linked in the description, but there's a bunch of options that you have online in order to get some high quality AI voices. In terms of hashtags and titles, these can be easily found using the search bar on TikTok, but the good news is once you settle on the same five hashtags and title that works, you can keep using these over and over again. So during initial stages, when you're still trying to find your feet, you can try different hashtags, try different titles, but once you hit the one, that works and gains you a ton of views and hits the right audience, you can pretty much just rinse and repeat and use that same title and hashtags on every video as you can see this account is doing here as well. Now this is just one example of an account that is absolutely crushing it using the creativity program beta. If you want to see a bunch of other examples that are taking exactly the same steps and absolutely raking it in using the creativity program beta so you can put yourself in the same position in 2024, check out the video that is on the screen right now when I talk you through exactly what those examples are. I'll see you in there. The account you can see on the screen right now is another voiceless, faceless account that is absolutely smashing its way through the creativity program beta on TikTok, easily making 10K per month or more. And of course, in this video, we're gonna peel back the curtains. We're gonna talk about exactly what this account does, how they go about putting their videos together. We're also gonna talk about how much it is exactly they make so you can see what the opportunity for you is as a serious content creator on TikTok who wants to make as much money as you can, an extra 100, 200, 500, 1k or even 10k per month on the creativity program beta in 2024 the account is called don't be afraid 
of the ocean and they do scary amazing ocean related content this profile right here is definitely a hundred percent within the creativity program beta as i'm about to show you here in just a second i'm just going to do a quick scroll as well just so you guys can get an idea of how these videos are put together of course, copyright reasons you're probably not going to hear the music these are all faceless voiceless types of videos essentially the visuals and the music and the text on the video does all the talking that ever needs to be done so let's take a quick look again if you can pay attention for me to the duration of the videos if you can pay attention to the likes and just the engagement that these videos are getting and of course how often this creator is posting here we go First thing you noticed, they're pretty consistent in their posting. Pretty much every day, there's one or two videos coming out. Second thing that you will have noticed is all of these videos are just over a minute long, which only means one thing, the creativity program beta. The third thing you will have noticed as well is there is a similar theme to all the videos. They're all about the sea, whether it's massive ships going into the ocean, whether it's ships being launched for the first time into the water after being built, and whether it's just humongous waves out in the ocean. So as you can see, they're getting a pretty decent amount of views. The videos are recent, and of course, they are in the creativity program beta. And most notably, they have that video as well that you can see or should be seeing on the screen right now, which has got 27.4 million views. A video was posted just six days ago, the time of recording this video. Um, it's got 1.4 million likes. It's got 27.4 million views. Now that should get you thinking in terms of what the potential is. Okay, so let's talk about how they put their videos together. In terms of how the videos are put together, um, as I mentioned earlier, you won't have heard the audio, but they've more or less got the same song. They're following the same theme. If you've seen the film Pirates of the Caribbean, they're using um, one of the most popular songs from the theme of that movie. If you click the link in the description and go into this profile, you will hear what song that is. And they're using that on pretty much all of their videos. So essentially, they found a song that works, that resonates with people that view these types of videos. It also resonates with the theme because Pirates of the Caribbean is largely filmed at sea. And this account is about the ocean, the sea, the scary ocean, which links back into that film. Now, in terms of how they get the content to put in these videos, it's probably clips that they've probably acquired from places like YouTube, Reddit, Facebook. Whether they've got copyrights or not, I've got no idea, but I would advise you to make sure that you cover yourself on that side. Otherwise, you are running a huge risk. And of course, the music is within TikTok. They've got little mini clips of different instances or activity happening in the ocean. And from there, they probably edit it using a free tool such as CapCut. Make sure it's just over a minute long, upload it onto TikTok, get an interesting title. And from there, just make sure that they've got the right hashtags, um, which again, are easily found within TikTok. Okay, now let's talk about the money, how much exactly they are making from the creativity program beta and why I'm saying they're making this much. What's my rationale behind this? Now, in terms of how much they're making via the creativity program beta, so I just quickly want to draw your attention onto a little note here that I found online. What you should be seeing on the screen is a search that I did on the AI tool Google Bard, just to understand a little bit more around the average um, of how much people earn on the creativity program beta. So what the average RPM is, and these are the results that came back. For those of you who don't know, Google Bard is similar to ChatGPT. Except for Google Bard, it is connected to the internet on the free version. Whereas with ChatGPT, you would have to get the paid version in order to browse the internet. At least that's what I believe. Based on the feedback from Google Bard, the overall average um, is anywhere from 
50 cents all the way up to one dollar so this is now not really taking into account any specific niche this is just an overall average across the board and then if we look at top performers and high performing side um, there's creators that are earning all the way up to two dollars per thousand views and on the low performing side there's creators that are earning anywhere from 20 cents to 30 cents per thousand views again it depends on the type of niche that you decide to go on to it's not very clear at this point because obviously tiktok is not being upfront in terms of what the potential payments is for different niches but this is just to give you guys an idea of where i am coming from in terms of the methodology and the rationale um, when it comes to the numbers that i'm going to be working out on this account but what i'm going to do is although they do upload very consistently um, on this account and they've probably got a, a bunch of views that they've obtained just in the month of december alone as you can see they've got this other video here as well which has got 3 million views over and above the one that's already got 27.4 million views just to give you guys an idea we're just going to work out roughly how much they've made from that one video that's got 27.4 million views and the way we'll do that is base it on the average of 50 cents per thousand views so we know that they've got 27.4 million views if i remember correctly so if we say 27.4 million and divide that by 1000 that'll be 27,400 so if we multiply that by the 50 cents so that's 13,700 off that one video now we know that not all your views will qualify all the time on TikTok so let's say for example half of their views were qualifying views on that video and they most likely will have had way more than that but we're just going to say half and um, so we can divide that by two and that's how much they would have made from that one video keep in mind they're uploading consistently they've got other videos that have gone viral so they've most likely made twice potentially even three times this amount but i'm just being very very conservative and just working it based on one video but the moral of the story is they are a faceless channel on tiktok they are a voiceless channel on tiktok they in their creativity program beta they are making more than what some people do working a full-time job way more in fact way more than even some ceos or some companies make and this is just one account there is always a potential that the person who is running this account is running other similar profiles as well this small new faceless tiktok account is easily making more than 10k per month on tiktok and it's not via the tiktok creativity program beta in this video we're going to be peeling back the curtains talking about exactly what it is they do how they make their videos and of course we're also going to talk about how much it is exactly they make and the intention is for you as someone who's serious about making an extra 100 per month an extra 500 per month or even an extra 1k or more per month on tiktok in 2024 as a content creator so you can understand what the opportunity is for you so let's jump straight in this is the account um, at serena underscore utk they are a faceless voiceless tiktok account they promote tiktok shop products as you'll see in a second all of their videos have a tiktok shop product link but what's even more genius about this account on top of being faceless voiceless and still being able to gain as much as 12.3 million views in one video even though they've only got 5k followers they also promote a specific product they most likely purchased this product once but they've promoted it on multiple videos and they're earning from multiple videos just from this one particular product they've not necessarily purchased it either they could have made a deal with promote or sell this product and gotten the product either at a discount or completely free looking at the price of the product at the most it works out at just under 20 dollars but we would have made that back easily within one or two videos Okay, so let's talk about how exactly they do their videos. I'm just going to play through just a couple of videos here. As you can see, simple text on the screen. They've got the astronaut light in their hands. They're showing themselves taking off an older style light, an LED light, and saying this is what the person who's watching the video might want to think about transitioning to. Around 17 seconds um, on one video, another video there were around 23 seconds. Some of the videos are less, but the genius and the beautiful thing about TikTok Shop is it doesn't matter how long your video is, as long as the video is promoting the right product and you're able to get it in front of the right eyeballs, 
that's all that matters not only are they making money per video but they've got an opportunity to keep uploading and where they are seeing traction as well in terms of how you access tiktok shop if you've not already got access uh, in the uk at least you need to have a minimum of 1000 followers you need to have posted within the first the last 28 days at least once and um, you need to be over the age of 18 and for the most part that's pretty much it as long as you're abiding by the tiktok community guidelines you will have access to tiktok shop as an affiliate now i'm not 100 sure what the requirements are for other countries but i think they are more or less similar i will leave a link in the description so you can get an idea of what the requirements are for tiktok shop where you are if tiktok shop is available now that you've seen all that let's talk about the money 0.3 million views so what we want to pay attention to is how many people liked this video we want to pay attention to how much the product costs as well we also want to pay attention to how much as an affiliate that you can earn when you are promoting that product as you can see at the bottom there pound 10 pen, 10 cents um, as an affiliate also like to pay attention to as well as you can see just in general in terms of how what the purchase culture is um, on the tiktok platform as an e-commerce platform i just wanted to bring this to your attention as well before we jump into exactly how much this account is most likely making so as you can see here on google um google says tiktok has over 1 billion monthly active users 18 percent of marketers currently use tiktok for marketing purposes 55 percent of tiktok users have bought something from a brand after seeing their products on the app and 50 percent of tiktok users have made a purchase after watching a tiktok live so pay attention to that 50 percent because as you can see a lot of sales a lot of conversion are driven by people that are after people have noticed a product from within tiktok especially now that tiktok has their own e-commerce tools as well via tiktok shop as you can imagine once people see a product they, that they like it's literally just a couple of clicks i also want to draw your attention to this um, other note as well from root.com um, as you can see tiktok has over 1 billion monthly active users and 80 percent of 18 percent of marketers currently use tiktok for marketing purposes 55 percent of tiktok users have bought something from a brand after seeing their products on the app and 50 percent of tiktok users have made a purchase after watching tiktok live as well again similar type of note there just to give you guys an idea of how often people purchase after seeing a product on tiktok whether they go outside the app or whether they purchase from within the app which is of course a lot easier just a few clicks and impulse purchases a lot of the time and they can get the product delivered to their door after just a few clicks on the app and the reason why i'm showing everyone this is just so you can see the numbers behind how many people purchase stuff after seeing videos like this on tiktok so you can get an idea of where i'm coming from when i give you those figures so as you can see i'm um, roughly two pound ten pence per product sold as an affiliate so this is what goes into your pockets so to estimate this we're going to say on this particular video there were 271,700 people that liked this video so we're going to start there So let's start there 271,000 people liked this video so if we say um the two pound 10 pence commission and multiply that by the 271,000 people so if every one of those people purchased that, that astronaut light the data would have made this much now of course that's far-fetched that's you know a far cry it's not very likely that everyone that liked the video purchased the product so we're going to say let's take it down to 50 percent so divide that by two and now we're saying this is how much the creator would have made if half of the people actively went and clicked the like button and liked that video purchased the astronaut light and again you say victor that's a bit far-fetched less than 50 percent of the people that liked the video would have purchased it and i say okay let's go down to 25 percent divide that again by two um if 25 percent of the people that liked not viewed liked the video purchased it this is how much that creator would have made from that particular video and of course um you know you can keep going down and say okay maybe you know less you know half of that 71k and you keep even if you keep going lower and lower and lower and get up to you know the single figures the creator would have still easily made around 10k and this is now taken into account all the other videos that they are uploading on that account promoting this particular product because you have to remember this is just one video um, every one of their videos has got a tiktok shop link on it for that 
particular product. The faceless TikTok account that you can see on your screen right now makes easily more than what some people make doing a full-time job. In this video, we're going to talk about exactly what the account does. So we're going to do an account overview. We're going to deconstruct the type of videos that they do so you can understand if you can do similar videos as well. And of course, we're going to talk about how much they make exactly creating these types of videos. And as a bonus, I'm also going to talk about the additional income stream, which I have noticed that they've stacked onto some of their videos as well. So stick with me. Let's jump into this faceless TikTok creativity program beta account overview. Okay, so as you can see, the account is called Eagle Eye World and they've got a nice tagline overlooking the world. And from what I've noticed on the account, they do videos that are related to engineering and um, big big engineering big vehicles big buildings and um, big you know trains locomotives tractors that type of thing so just amazing awesome stuff that the everyday person doesn't necessarily get to see i think the content is amazing and to be honest some of these videos and some of the stuff that's shown on here i'm seeing completely for the first time which is just completely mind-blowing they're a faceless account so you don't see someone's face you don't see a headshot of someone speaking to the audience directly and um, they do have an ai voice on these videos so technically it is a voiceless channel because there's no human voice in there but they do use ai narration um, in the videos as well and it's as you can see, they upload relatively consistently. They've got some videos that are doing really, really well um, from what I've noticed on the account. What I'm gonna do is just play some of the videos so you can get an idea of the types of videos that they do. I'm not gonna necessarily play the audio for copyright reasons, but the visuals should hopefully give you an idea of the type of videos they do. Um, I'm also going to ask you again to pay attention to the timeline and the duration of the video, um, which I'm going to show. Also pay attention, attention to some of the engagement, how many comments they're getting, uh, how many likes they're getting, which is really good because it shows that none of that is artificial. Um, then we'll circle back and talk about exactly how they make these videos um, and of course circle back to how much money they are making towards the end of the video if you stick around as well. give you an idea of what the videos are about and how the videos are put together. So jumping straight into the next section, which is how the videos are put together. Quite simple, um, you need to source the videos that you're showing on the screen. So, and then you need the music, you need the AI voice, and of course you need to have the text on the screen that goes with the AI voice as well. The AI voice element is quite simple. You're talking about 11 labs or similar AI tools that will convert your script into a voice. Um, in terms of the script itself, tools like ChatGPT, uh, Google Bard or similar AI tools in order to build that script for you. You could go and look on blogs online and get some inspiration in terms of how other people are scripting these types of videos and maybe go into AI and get it to change and amend those articles or scripts so you can make them unique and make them your own drop them into 11 labs and you've got your script and ultimately tiktok will automatically put in the text on the screen to go along with that script in terms of the videos themselves you could easily source videos like this from platforms such as youtube reddit facebook and other video based platforms you could contact the people that have uploaded the original owners of the copyright or alternatively um, you can transform the videos to an extent that they fall under fair use and you're able to use them and monetize them on other platforms some people will take the short route and just take the videos and just re-upload them elsewhere without really changing a lot you can do that as well but that is at your own risk the video could potentially be flagged and you could end up getting the whole account taken away so 
again that's something that you can you know risk if you feel like you want to take that risk on your shoulders and the rest of the editing you can easily get that done in a tool like CapCut, which again is owned by ByteDance, who owns tiktok um, or you can use um an external editing tool but to make it easier or to get an easier workflow you could easily just edit it within tiktok itself as well which technically is CapCut because tiktok again is owned by the same company that owns CapCut. um so all of that can be done in there in terms of the hashtags the description all that again tiktok can easily do that natively you don't have to make that any more complicated than it should be the music that's also natively within tiktok so essentially 80 90 percent of what you need is within tiktok um, the rest is just sourcing the clips getting the script making sure it's a script that's engaging making sure your hooks are on point which they are um, within this um, account from what i've seen and the rest is just within tiktok ready for you to use in terms of views from what i've worked out on this account um, they should have received for the month of december alone um, around four million views are about they're pretty consistent uploader and they've had a few videos that have gone viral in december as well i think one was like 1.8 million and another um was like let me just go back and see if i can find those i may not be able to find them again now while i'm doing this video um but there was a couple that i noticed that did really well there's that 1.5 million one there and there is um, a couple of others as well um, but essentially you've got that one that was four days ago at 806.6k um, um, views and you have got um, a bunch of others as well let's have a look so another one there 400,000 and you have got a few others 300k there and that was only in December again and you have also got 400k there in December. So overall, from what I've worked out, and again, feel free to visit the profile, the link is in the description. They're averaging around four, maybe 3.5, 4 million views um, per month. At least that's what they've done in December on this account. And this is a relatively um, new account as well, because um, I know some people are gonna say, oh, it's a big account, of course, it's gonna do well. Um, they were a small account not so long ago. The earliest video that I've been able to locate from their account was the 7th of September. So you have to be a small account before you become a big account and there's no reason why you can step into um, a similar niche something along these lines and grow it from a small account as well so you start small and then you grow and you become this big um, it's certainly possible for anyone that's watching this video to achieve those numbers as well so if we work out how much they make exactly um, if we look at our to at our friend Google Bard um, and ask what the average rpm is on the creativity program beta of course as you can see um the average rpm tends to be um anywhere around 50 cents in the middle on the lower end it's around 30 to 20 cents on the higher end um it's anywhere all the way up to two dollars per thousand views in this case i'm going to be conservative and say they get 50 cents rpm uh, based on that if we take the four million uh views that they get and we divide that by 1000 because you get paid per thousand views on TikTok, um, and then we multiply that by their 50 cents rpm and that works out at around 2000 per month um, and of course this is just a conservative conservative estimate they could easily be getting um, double that amount at 4000 per month or even more than that and the genius thing that this account has done, as you can see on the screen right now, they've also added a link to a course that they've created onto their videos. And the crazy thing is this is only a six minute, um, this is even less than less effort than I've put into this YouTube video, just a six minute long course, which they're selling for 15 pounds. People are buying it because there are some reviews on it, which is just completely insane. Um, so not only are they earning from the creativity program beta, but they're also earning from this course that they are selling online as well. So they're stacking their revenue sources. In addition to this, what you also have to keep in mind is you're not tied just to TikTok. You don't have to just upload these videos onto TikTok. There are other platforms such as Instagram, Facebook, there's YouTube. So technically, you could be uploading this content elsewhere as well. You make the video once and you upload it onto different platforms. So there's no telling how much more money they could potentially be making if they un upload this content onto other monetized platforms. In addition to that, this 
is an account where you're not showing your face, you're not talking. So the scalability is there in terms of creating more accounts like this. We don't know if this person owns this one account. We don't know if they own 10 or five. So it's a crazy, crazy opportunity if you are someone that's able to put the time aside and put in some work and put these types of videos together in the year, during the year 2024, and really just get your foot in the door into earning some of that income again. Again, what I've mentioned there is 2000 based on the estimate views and this is based on 50 cents RPM. This is just a conservative estimate. They could be earning anywhere more than, you know, a dollar, um, you know, all the way upwards of two dollars so they could easily be making four six k a month from the views they received just in september not to mention november um not to mention you know earlier months as well this small new faceless tiktok account is easily making more than 10k per month on tiktok and it's not via the tiktok creativity program beta in this video we're going to be peeling back the curtains talking about exactly what it is they do how they make their videos and of course we're also going to talk about how much it is exactly they make and the intention is for you as someone who's serious about making an extra 100 per month an extra 500 per month or even an extra 1k or more per month on tiktok in 2024 as a content creator so you can understand what the opportunity is for you so let's jump straight in this is the account um, at serena underscore utk they are a faceless voiceless tiktok account they promote tiktok shop products as you'll see in a second all of their videos have a tiktok shop product link but what's even more genius about this account on top of being faceless voiceless and still being able to gain as much as 12.3 million views in one video even though they've only got 5k followers they also promote a specific product they most likely purchased this product once but they've promoted it on multiple videos and they're earning from multiple videos just from this one particular product they've not necessarily purchased it either they could have made a deal with promote or sell this product and gotten the product either at a discount or completely free looking at the price of the product at the most it works out at just under twenty dollars but we would have made that back easily within one or two videos Okay, so let's talk about how exactly they do their videos. I'm just gonna play through just a couple of videos here. As you can see, simple text on the screen. They've got the astronaut light in their hands. They're showing themselves taking off an older style light, an LED light and saying this is what the person who's watching the video might want to think about transitioning to. Around 17 seconds um, on one video, another video there were around 23 seconds. Some of the videos are less, but the genius and the beautiful thing about TikTok Shop is it doesn't matter how long your video is, as long as the video is promoting the right product and you're able to get it in front of the right eyeballs, that's all that matters. Not only are they making money per video, but they've got an opportunity to keep uploading um, where they are seeing traction as well. In terms of how you access TikTok Shop, if you've not already got access, uh, in the UK at least, you need to have a minimum of 1,000 followers. You need to have posted within the first, the last 28 days, at least once. Um, you need to be over the age of 18. And for the most part, that's pretty much it. As long as you're abiding by the TikTok community guidelines, you will have access to TikTok Shop as an affiliate. Now, I'm not 100% sure what the requirements are for other countries but i think they are more or less similar i will leave a link in the description so you can get an idea of what the requirements are for tiktok shop where you are if tiktok shop is available now that you've seen all that let's talk about the money 0.3 million views so what we want to pay attention to is how many people liked this video. We want to pay attention to how much the product costs as well. We also want to pay attention to how much as an affiliate that you can earn when you are promoting that product. As you can see at the bottom there, £2.10 10 cents, um, as an affiliate. Also like to pay attention to as well. As you can see, just in general, in terms of how what the purchase culture is um, on the TikTok platform, as an e-commerce platform. I just wanted to bring this to your attention as well before we jump into exactly how much this account is most likely making. So as you can see here on Google, um, Google says TikTok has over 1 billion monthly active users. 18% of marketers currently use TikTok for marketing purposes. 55% of TikTok users have bought something from a brand after seeing their products on the app. And 50% of TikTok users have made a purchase after watching a TikTok live. So pay attention to that 50%. Because as you can see, a lot of sales, a lot of conversion are driven by people that are 
after people have noticed a product from within TikTok, especially now that TikTok has their own e-commerce tools as well via TikTok shop. As you can imagine, once people see a product they, that they like, it's literally just a couple of clicks. I also want to draw your attention to this um, other note as well from root.com. Um, as you can see, TikTok has over 1 billion monthly active users. 80% of 80% of marketers currently use TikTok for marketing purposes. 55% of TikTok users have bought something from a brand after seeing their products on the app. And 50% of TikTok users have made a purchase after watching TikTok Live as well. Again, similar type of note there. Just to give you guys an idea of how often people purchase after seeing a product on TikTok. Whether they go outside the app or whether they purchase from within the app. Which is, of course, a lot easier. Just a few clicks. Um impulse purchases a lot of the time and they can get the product delivered to their door after just a few clicks on the app and the reason why i'm showing everyone this is just so you can see the numbers behind how many people purchase stuff after seeing videos like this on tiktok so you can get an idea of where i'm coming from when i give you those figures but as you can see um roughly two pound ten pence per product sold as an affiliate so this is what goes into your pockets so to estimate this we're going to say on this particular video there were 271,700 people that liked this video so we're going to start there So let's start there. 271,000 people liked this video. So if we say um, the £2.10 pence commission and multiply that by the 271,000 people. So if every one of those people purchased that, that astronaut light, the data would have made this much. Now, of course, that's far-fetched. That's, you know, a far cry. It's not very likely that everyone that liked the video purchased the product. So we're going to say, let's take it down to 50%. So divide that by two. And now we're saying this is how much the creator would have made if half of the people actively went and clicked the like button and liked that video purchased the astronaut light and again you say victor that's a bit far-fetched less than 50 percent of the people that liked the video would have purchased it and i say okay let's go down to 25 percent divide that again by two um if 25 percent of the people that liked not viewed liked the video purchased it this is how much that creator would have made from that particular video and of course um you know you can keep going down and say okay maybe you know less you know half of that 71k and you keep even if you keep going lower and lower and lower and get up to you know the single figures the creator would have still easily made around 10k and this is now taking into account all the other videos that they are uploading on that account promoting this particular product because you have to remember this is just one video um, every one of their videos has got a tiktok shop link on it for that particular product the content creator i'm going to talk about in this video easily make more than what most people make working full-time in a year i'm going to walk you through exactly what account this is and how they make this money and more importantly i'm going to walk you through how you can get into this opportunity as well and no i'm not talking about the tiktok creativity program beta so stick with me on this video i'm going to walk you through exactly what this is how much they're making how they're doing it and how you can get in on this as well while the opportunity is still there What I'm talking about here is TikTok shop. At the moment, the algorithm is pushing TikTok shop content like crazy, simply because when you make money, TikTok makes money. It's not complicated. It's ridiculously simple as you're about to see. Let's jump into my screen recording so I can show you. Okay, so here's the account that we're talking about here. It's, I've done is I've filtered this account by their most popular videos. As far as TikTok goes, it is relatively small at 11.5K followers, but there are accounts that are even smaller than this one that are making an absolute killing on TikTok shop. An example of that is the, on the video that I released yesterday, which should be somewhere on the screen right now. That account was less than even 10K followers, yet they were making a ridiculous amount of money on TikTok shop. So do check that video out after you've watched this one if you are interested it should be somewhere on this screen but what i'm going to do on this one is i'm just going to do a quick playthrough on some of the videos not the full videos just to show you guys how 
many views this account is getting um, I want to show you guys how many likes this account is getting and I want you guys to pay attention to the videos that have TikTok shop links as well I'm gonna quickly just do that I'm gonna briefly remove um, audio as well from the videos because obviously there could be copyright music in there and then we're gonna circle back very very quickly and talk about what this creative is doing exactly how you can do it and talk about how much money it is that they are making on TikTok shop so Firstly, I'm just going to quickly run through some of these videos. So here's the first one. So this one doesn't have a TikTok shop link in it. That's fine. Okay. This one is at 91.8K likes. Um, as you can see, it has got a TikTok shop link on it of a number of different products. And this video was uploaded in February this year. Okay. This doesn't have a visible link on it, but as you can see, it does say commission paid. So they probably do have a link. Maybe stock has run out or something along those lines. Not sure why the actual product is not showing, but this is also a TikTok shop video, um, or it may just be a brand video that they've done to promote a particular brand or a brand sponsorship so as you can see that was uploaded on the 30th of march this was uploaded on the 8th of august it's at 38.5k likes and it has got some visible tiktok shop links on there these are the products that they are promoting on there there's another one there tiktok shop products visible and and a couple of others here's another one here as well so ultimately, you guys get the point. Um, the content is being pushed out. They're getting some pretty healthy views. And what we're going to do now is just talk through how exactly they make the money they do before we jump into estimating exactly how much this creator is making from these videos. So all you do in order to qualify for TikTok shop, you need to have a minimum of 1000 followers over the age of 18 and a few other requirements. In terms of how they get the actual products. Introducing the TikTok shop product marketplace where creators can get different products that they can sell within their accounts. As you can see there, this is broken down by categories that are chosen for you in order to promote products. So you can essentially go into any one of those categories depending on your account and the niche that you've chosen and you can select products that you can promote. Now, once you've chosen a category, you can see there for each product where it's got earned, that's how much take home commission you get if the product gets purchased from your video. And then below that, you've just got the full price and you've got the number of units that have been sold to date for that particular product. Obviously, the higher the number of units, the better, because that means that product is selling very well. Also, you want to look at the ratings. The people that have received that product have an opportunity to rate it. And the higher the ratings, the better the quality of the product and the more satisfied the end user or the customer is. So you want to try and look for products similar to that along those lines. And if you go back into the product marketplace, you can also see you've got best sellers here as well that you can choose from. You've also got trending shops, so you gain um, insight into which shops are doing very well. And you can just click into the shop and you can see what type of products that they do. And again, if these are the type of products that you sell on your account, then you've got an opportunity to pick some of them, add them onto your account dashboard, get the links and promote those products within your videos. And you've uh, got also just general products that are doing very well throughout TikTok that are going viral that are being shown on the homepage, the product marketplace here. So this gives you an opportunity for you to pick products that you are going to promote on your account. And it's that simple. Um, you can earn commission from there. Some of the products you get an opportunity to get a free sample as well, where you can apply to the TikTok shop owner to get a free sample. So you can showcase that product within your videos. The TikTok shop owner is going to review your application. They're going to look at your account, see if you're a good fit for them to send you a free sample of the product. If you are, they will send it to you. If you're not, they might decline. But either way, this is where you get products. And this is where you can take a look and see how much you can potentially earn as a TikTok creator by promoting these products. Let's estimate how much exactly just Juicy Jess made from some of her videos. And I wanna focus on some of her more recent videos as well. So I'm just gonna change my filters into latest. And as you can see, this video right here uploaded 
on the 11th of October. So that's fairly recent. In this video, they're promoting three products. Let's click into them and see how much commission we stand to make from selling these products. So the first one, okay, so 176. Second one, 75. So what's that? Two, maybe 250 or so. Third one is 65. So let's say roughly around three pounds or so. I know it's not the exact amount. Uh, now let's look at the number of likes that they've got on that particular video. They've got 33.1K likes, not views, likes. So, and say the three pounds, which is their commission, multiply by the 33K likes. And that's how much commission, not, not revenue for the shop owner commission that this creator would have made if everyone that liked the video purchased all of those products. But let's assume that maybe 50% of those people purchased those products. So divide that by two and that's how much creator the creator is making just off that one video. Actually, let's say, you know what? Less than half of those people purchased. Let's say 25% of the people that liked the video purchased that product. Divide that by two again, that's a quarter. 24,750 pounds if 25% of those people purchased the, the products. Um, let's divide that by two again if we say even less people than that purchased. So if we divide that by two, you can keep going. 12,000, even if you divide that by two, 6,187. So this one right here, um, so that's got, uh, this is only a day ago, by the way. Um, so for the people that are complaining, saying you're not getting more than 200 views per video this video was posted a day ago it's a small account and it's got 23.2k likes this goes to show how much tiktok is pushing tiktok shop content at the moment instead of just your normal standard videos without any shop links without any series links etc so what products are being promoted here so as we can see we've got the first product so two pound commission second product so it's now 250 and third product and it's now three pounds so again three pounds worth of commission 23.2 k people liked the video so let's go back into our calculator in fact we're going to round it off we're going to say 23 k people so three pounds commission times 23,000 people and that's how much the creator made off that one video if everyone that liked the video purchased those products Again, same thing we did before. If half of those people purchased, that's how much the creator has made. If 25% of the people that liked the video purchased, that's how much the creator made. If half of a quarter of people that purchased the video, that liked the video purchased those products, this is how much the creator made. Keep in mind, there's no limit to how many of these videos you can make. You can make five per day, you can make 10 per day, 100 per week. Obviously, you don't wanna fatigue yourself. You don't wanna fatigue the people that watch your videos, but essentially, you're not limited to posting just one video per day. So you could have multiple videos like this that you post on your account on a daily basis. Not all of them are gonna go viral. However, the opportunity for people to purchase different products through those videos exists. And herein lies an opportunity for you, the average TikTok creator, to make money utilizing TikTok shop while everyone else is worried about the creativity beta, worried about sponsorships, worried about the creator fund and all those other opportunities. This is a real tangible opportunity for a normal person to make money in some cases without even showing your face on these videos, like the example that I've shown on an experiment that I've personally done on a previous video that I did as well. So as you can see, this does not take a lot at all. And I hope you've taken something away from this video and you've learned how you can jump into this opportunity and make the most of it yourself. As you can see, it's ridiculously easy. Anyone that meets those simple minimum requirements can take advantage of this. If you are wanting to understand a bit more about how you can take advantage of this for yourself, or if you have any other questions in general about TikTok shop or growth, content strategy, etc feel free to click the link in the description. I'd be happy to jump on a one-to-one -one call with you and answer your questions and give you a personalized, customized response based on your particular situation. On the screen right now is a video that walks you through other monetization opportunities that are available on TikTok. I'll see you in there. What is good, everyone? I know this is not my usual setup. I apologize, but I've just come across an example which I wanted to share with you guys 
straight away when it comes to monetizing your TikTok account. And this specific example is about TikTok shop. What I mean exactly when I say TikTok is pushing content that is TikTok shop links in it. I've got an account here that's fairly small but doing relatively well because they utilize TikTok shop. And if I'm gonna jump into my screen recording, walk you through exactly what this account is so you can go and check this out yourself. I hope you guys find this valuable. Any questions you've got, let me know in the comments. Okay hey guys, so here we go. We've got an account here named Zinc Shop. And what I wanna specifically focus on is the views that this account is getting. Obviously it's a shop account and thanks to the name, we know that. Now, what caught my attention when it comes to this account, and I don't know this account, I'm not affiliated to it, I don't know the person who runs it, and I don't mean to put this account in any bad light or good light. It's just simply an observation that I've made of what's currently working on TikTok. So what caught my attention about this account is this video right here. So as you can see, this video is promoting a wireless charger, but more specifically, what caught my attention about this video is this video was posted three days ago. Now for the many people out there that are complaining that they're getting around 300 views or 200 views per video and are getting stuck around that mark, this particular video got 69.1K likes and it got around 2.1 million views or thereabouts and it was only posted three days ago. Now you might be thinking to yourself, okay, this is potentially a big account. As you can see, this account has only got 4K followers. And so it's not that big of an account and the account has not even reached a million likes yet. And on average, if we look at their views for an account that is this small, if we look at the average views, we've got two videos there that are around 6k views we've got one that's got 5k views we've got another one and another one so a couple of videos that are breaching the 100k views mark tiktok shop link tiktok shop link now another thing that i wanted to highlight to you guys about this account as well and again this is not me having anything against the actual creator of this account but I can tell you straight right off the bat, a lot of these videos that are promoting TikTok shop, they've got absolutely nothing to do with the actual product itself. It's not someone showing and unboxing and opening the actual TikTok shop products. This creator has just put some clips together and those clips have created a video and they've placed a link within that video. It's not necessarily a case where they've gone and purchased the actual product. Although there may be some references to the actual product that is being promoted, they've not necessarily gone the traditional route, which is to buy the product from the TikTok shop owner, wait for it to be posted to your address, film yourself unboxing the product and talking about it, and then get paid for it. So when it comes to hacking TikTok shop, and also getting views for your content, this is something that you might want to think about. And I'm always on the lookout for examples like this and accounts like this, because this is currently happening all over TikTok. So learnings from this video, A, TikTok is still pushing videos that have TikTok shop links in them. B, your videos have not got to be great perfect quality they don't have to be high quality this account right here again nothing against the person who runs the account or anything but this is an example to me showing that you don't have to go over the top and you'll still get more views than people that are potentially doing a lot more but haven't got tiktok shop links in their videos and this is happening right now so if you not only want views on your content but you're also wanting to make money from TikTok shop, this is something that you might want to think about. Just to put things in perspective, in fact, for this particular video, so this is a wireless charger dock 
charging product so if i click on the product we're going to get an idea of what the price of the product is so it's nine pound 99 i just want to show you guys what the potential is the earning potential of these products on tiktok even if very very few people end up buying the products from your link so it's 9.99 um, and if i click on the product there i'm gonna get an idea of how much I can earn as a creator by promoting this product. So I'm going to click and it tells me for every sale of this product, I get £1.50. Now, if we go back to the video and see how many people liked this video, I'm going to go back. Okay, so 69.1K people liked this video. So I'm going to jump into my calculator so we can get some conservative estimates of how much this creator could potentially be making from this video. So remember, £1.50 per sale. So let's say every single person watching this video bought that product. So we're going to say every single person that liked the video, excuse me, bought the, bought the product. So, okay, in fact, now 69, um, £1.50. This is just the commission. Remember that this is not the full price. So that's how much the creator would make if every single person bought the product. But hang on a minute. You know, we're not dumb. We know that it's not every single person that watched the video bought the product. So let's say half the people that liked the video bought the product. So 69.2, okay, 34,000, okay, 34,550. Uh, so we say 34,550 uh, times 150. 51,825 if half the people that liked the video purchased the product. But you know what? Let's not go 50%, let's go 25%. For so, uh, 17275 and multiply that by £1.50. And that's how much this creator would have made if 25% of people that liked the video purchased the product. Um, <laughs> and you know what? Let's let's go 10%. Um, so let's say even less people purchase the product. So let's divide that by 10. Okay, and multiply that by the £1.50 that they get in per product. So even if 10% of the people that watch the video purchase the product, this is how much this creator has made. Now, keep in mind, this creator has multiple videos where they've gone viral, where they've linked products like this on those videos. It's not just that one video. Similar story, okay? They've linked a TikTok shop product on this video and that has gone viral as well. So you can only let your imagination run wild with regards to how much this creator is probably making from TikTok shop. This is an example of how much money people are sleeping on when it comes to TikTok shop. The only limit that you've got here is if all shops or the shop that sells that particular product runs out of stock. And if, even if they do, they're going to restock. Okay, people are going to continue buying. You're going to continue making money. They're now, I've got a bunch of other videos on making money on TikTok. If you have got questions around other options out there for you to monetize your content, you might want to click on the video that is currently on the screen right now. If you want to work with me directly, talk to me, chat to me, ask me questions one to one. There is a link in the description. Not long ago, I shared a community post where I asked you, the viewer, what you struggle with the most when it comes to TikTok and the results spoke for themselves. Because TikTok shop is one of the main focuses of the TikTok algorithm right now, I did an experiment shortly after that where I started a TikTok creator affiliate account with the goal of making 50 British pounds in a week as take home commissions. Now, for those of you not aware of what TikTok shop is exactly, it's something that I cover in a lot of my other videos, but just to briefly explain it for you. Within TikTok shop, you're essentially a, a TikTok shop owner where you have a TikTok shop selling your own product. So you're doing the distribution, refunds, customer service, and all of that. The other way to get into TikTok shop is if you are a TikTok shop creator affiliate, which means essentially you're a content creator and you're promoting products from TikTok shops. And every time someone buys using your link, you get a commission. So pretty much the same as most other affiliate programs. 
Now the niche that I chose was women's clothing because it did seem like a lot of products were going viral around women's clothing. I've got no experience around women's clothing whatsoever. In fact, I'm terrible even when it comes to our own clothing, men's clothing. But, you know, this was an experiment. I wanted to have a bit of fun. So my strategy was to simply post as many posts as I can, averaging around 30 posts per day for those seven days. And in this video, I'm going to talk you through what my results were in terms of how much money did I make per day for the seven days. I'm going to give you the total results for the seven days. And at the end of the video, I'm also going to talk about what the lifetime earnings of those accounts were because I did the experiments a number of weeks back. Now, in terms of what the rules were, I wasn't going to show my face within the post that I was going to do. I wasn't going to use my voice as well. So faceless and voiceless spend very little to no time editing the videos because I genuinely did not have time to videos where essentially going to be some very, very bad videos that I was going to be using. But um, it's quite interesting how this turned out, as you'll find out towards the end of the video. I was also not going to use any paid promotion whatsoever. So no TikTok ads, no promoting these videos on my other social media accounts as well. So all of this was going to be organic traffic that's coming from the posts that I'm posting. No shout outs, just me posting videos. So we're going to jump into my screen recording here and very shortly after that i'm going to run you through what my learnings were and after that i'm going to show you what my lifetime results were for this account and there is a bit of a bonus surprise at the end of the video as well which i've not shared up until this point in the video that you might want to stick around for if you now i started this experiment around the 29th uh, actually the 30th of um september and um, so i'm gonna start by that date double click on it so it shows just that day I'm going to click done and as you can see on that first day I earned £12.27 and next day which is the 1st of October double click on that one again as you can see I made on that day £16.86 um, and these again are the types of products that I sold now I did say mainly women's products but I did also try the um, apple cider vinegar gummies as well which seemed to be doing really really well third day which is the 2nd of October um, on that day, I made five pounds and ten p. And if we go back again on the fourth day, which is the third of October, on that day I made ten pound thirty pence, which is really really good. And again, guys, remember this is just my commission. This is not revenue. Um, overall revenue will be higher than this, but this is after the shop has taken all their revenue. It was the fourth of October. Um, didn't make any commissions on that day. The day after that, the 5th of October, we made £1.80. Now, I will say, guys, um, I didn't consistently post 30 posts a day. I think there was maybe one day where I posted less or didn't post at all. So this is despite me missing potentially a day, maybe a day and a half. And then if we go into the Friday, um, on that day, I made £2.70. Um, and then if we go on the Saturday, which is the final day of the experiment, there I made £1.80. Um, overall, the total that I made was £50.83. So as you can see, we absolutely smashed our goal. Could have done a little bit better, um, maybe not. Um, but, you know, um, there we go. This is what we made on that actual day. So as you can see, the good news is we did reach our goal. We did actually make 50 British pounds over the seven days. Some of the products that we're selling actually surprised me as well. Um, I was not only looking at what was going viral within TikTok shop, because you, you can actually see within your dashboard what's currently going viral, um, but I was looking at products that are not being sold uh, or that are not selling a lot as well. Just products that I, I felt like fit in well with the theme of my account. So I kind of mixed that together, what's going viral and also what's fitting in well with the theme of my account and there you are that's how the numbers were looking for that period in terms of learnings from the experiment um, you can have multiple tiktok shop creator affiliate accounts because when it came to me withdrawing the funds from this experiment i was able to give tiktok my actual details which i've given on my other live tiktok accounts as well and because my name pops up on two, three, or five other accounts with the same address, with the same tax information, with the same utility bills. TikTok did not kick me out. Um, as long as the details were correct and genuine, they were absolutely fine with that. 
what I also learned is with these type of videos, you can actually earn commission even if your content isn't that great. Guys, these videos were absolutely awful. These were automated videos. I did next to no editing. The way TikTok does these videos because they give you an option to promote products using these videos, they leave you little to no flexibility to edit the video. So there's very little you can do. They were terrible. They were literally adverts. I wasn't expecting a lot of views from them. It, they were blatantly, here is a product. This is where you click the link to buy it. You're getting a discount. And that was it. I wasn't trying to be flashy, trying to go viral. I wasn't trying to be, you know, the next big star. I was literally just putting out content and seeing what came back. In terms of strategy, posting a lot at the beginning does actually work. And what I mean by that, if you're someone that's starting this experiment, if you're posting around 30 to 40 times a day, maybe for the first seven days or so, those initial videos are then going to drive the traffic in later coming weeks. So even if you do slow down posting, even if you have days where you're not posting at all, maybe you've got a full-time job, maybe you've accounts that you focused on etc so post as much as you can at the beginning and that'll give you not only an opportunity to go quote unquote viral with this kind of content but it'll give you some data that you can work with so you can understand very very quickly what products people are responding to very well as opposed to products that people are not responding to at all now, what I didn't like so much about this experiment is it wasn't as passive as I would have liked. I did feel like I needed to keep posting in order to get the algorithm to recognize uh, my content and keep pushing my content out there. Uh, now, on the positive side, you don't have to post as much after that first seven days or 14 days. If you started hitting the ground running with a live volume of posts, in later days, later weeks, you find that you don't have to post as much. In some cases, you don't even have to post at all. There is also a potential to earn more than I have. My results, guys, are not typical at all. The best case scenario for someone that makes money using TikTok Shop is where you actually show your face. It's where you actually review a product that you've bought from TikTok Shop so people can identify with you. They can see you open the product. They can see that it's a physical product. They can see the dimensions of the product, the quality of the product from your eyes within that video and therefore based on that they decide whether to buy or not so it's creators that are literally with very small accounts making multiple hundreds if not thousands per post or with just a few posts so do not sleep on this opportunity if you do decide to go with this approach or to give it a try i would urge you to try and niche down on this account i wasn't very niche it was a very broad women's clothing type account but if you niche down maybe look at women's shoes maybe look at you know women's cardigans maybe look at women's bags or take a similar approach with a men's account or a tech account book account um, or a fishing account jewelry account there is an opportunity for you to earn more because you will be focused towards specific um, types of products and type of content also surprisingly some shops did reach out to me as well very early on because they could see that the account was doing very well they could see the data and the dashboard of the account in the back end and they were starting to offer some discounts also so this means you're now earning more than the average creator promoting those products so there is an opportunity there if you're someone that sticks with this and is consistent with your posting unfortunately for me um, i do have other stuff that i'm working on at the moment i've got this youtube channel i've got my other tiktok accounts and um, i've also got my one-to-one -one calls i do with my clients so i don't have a lot of time that i had to dedicate to us this but if you're someone maybe a student at university or a high school student or something like that you've got a lot of time then there is an opportunity for you to make some money within this strategy additional bonus piece of content that i wanted to share with you as well is on top of this one account because i wanted to niche down just a little bit more i did create a second account as well that's focused more towards one particular product within women's clothing rather than being a broad account and i did actually make money with that account as well so i'm going to share with you the lifetime commission of the initial broad women's clothing account and then i'm going to share it with you the lifetime commissions of the additional account that i did following exactly the same strategy um, so if i leave the start date as the 29th there and maybe we say um, all the way up until the 2nd of november overall lifetime i've made 62 pounds 68 pence so as you can see this did continue to generate some sales even after i stopped running the experiment now the surprise that i've got for you guys is that i did actually create another account as well 
and these are my lifetime commissions on my second account i've not withdrawn anything on this one so what you're seeing here is what's available for me to withdraw again this is i think about maybe four days off posting around 30 posts and i slow down after that so not too many posts but again that is ready for me to now withdraw i've already put in all my tax information and that side of it i can withdraw this anytime or i can wait and see if it builds up to any more sales so now that you've seen this your questions are probably are you probably want to know a little bit more about tiktok shop and how it works or if not you probably want to know what other options you have on tiktok to make money as a content creator or even as a small business the video on the screen right now is going to walk you through different ways to make money on tiktok so do click on that um, i've got in there not only tiktok shop but i've got a broad array of other ways you can utilize to make some income just by posting on tiktok i'll see you in there as a tiktok content creator that's looking to make an extra side income from tiktok you are potentially losing hundreds if not thousands of dollars per month by not doing what i'm about to mention in this video i'm going to show you an example of someone that's doing this here in a second and i'm also going to show you why this person is most likely making making money by doing this. Just to give you guys a bit of background, um, TikTok shop, what it's meant to be, it's meant to be creators actually having the physical products that you can buy from TikTok shop and showing them, reviewing them in their video, and this whole relationship existing between the creator and the TikTok shop owner, where the creator is able to get the product, show it, and get people to buy it. And that's technically meant to make things easier in terms of people buying it because they can see you using it, they can see the product's dimensions, potentially they can see the results of the products that you're showing in the video, etc. You get where I'm going with it. But I've come across this account here, which is doing a lot of TikTok shop promotion. As you can see that the caption is, or the text on the screen, no way they're selling this for so cheap. How do they even make any profit? I'm gonna play the video here in a second. Um, take note. What they're selling on TikTok shop is makeup brushes, right? So this is the product that's being promoted on here. Keep in mind that technically you are supposed to have the product that you're promoting in the video. That's meant to be the whole premise of this. But I'm just going to play the video here. I'm probably going to make it silent for once I'm editing. So there's no copyright issues. The music is not being played, but I'm just going to play it here. And I want you guys to notice something. Um, I'm going to talk about what that thing is exactly in just a second here. So the interesting thing that you might have noticed as well is this product that the creator is promoting is nowhere on the screen. These makeup brushes, all we're seeing is just a video of a ceiling here. The video has 99.5k likes, was uploaded on the 20th of September, which is relatively recent. And if I go into this account, you'll notice that all of their videos are similar. Now I'm going to click onto another video and you're going to see what I mean. Um, again, I'm going to probably just go silent um, on the actual video audio um, just to potentially avoid any copyright issues. That video, by the way, that we've just seen, that's got 2.9 million views. Um, that's how much TikTok has pushed that. Now, if I click onto a, another video here, so this one here. This video has got 23.3k likes, about 800,000 views, relatively short video, product that's being promoted here, mini mystery makeup bundles. Now, can you see any mini mystery makeup bundles anywhere on the screen being promoted? No. All you can see is a short video showing cars going around. Um, this video was uploaded six days ago. Okay, and this person is earning commissions every time someone purchases these mini makeup products on there. How many people are purchasing this we cannot see but we can make some assumptions based on how many people have actually seen the video we can also make some assumptions in terms of who tiktok is potentially sending these videos out to because they are linked to that specific product um, from tiktok shop now this was only uploaded six days ago and for those of you wondering why you're getting around 200 views on your videos i recently made a video talking about how tiktok is prioritizing content that is linked to tiktok shop so a lot of these accounts here i'm not saying that 
all very similar but a lot of accounts that are promoting tiktok shop products i have noticed on my for you page that they have videos come up on for you and they are more recent and they tend to get more views they are pushed that heavily by the tiktok algorithm because tiktok ultimately makes money from tiktok shop now in terms of how you can make money doing this guys all you do if you are qualifying for tiktok shop you are then able to quite simply upload videos like this videos aren't talking about these makeup bundles these videos aren't talking about these makeup um, brushes or anything all you're doing is just taking a video of something completely random you're linking the tiktok shop product on there your video is getting pushed by the tiktok algorithm and you're getting paid on any commissions that are made from the purchases from that video now am i saying this is sustainable for the long term no am i saying this is ethically correct not necessarily however tiktok is clearly still pushing this content out and this could be a passive account so it might not necessarily have to be your account that you use on the daily this could be an account that you purchase from someone else this could be an account that you start from scratch whatever as long as you're able to get access to tiktok shop this could be an automated account where you literally upload videos like this link them to tiktok shop find the products that you want to promote you could even niche this down you could create an account that's specifically for makeup stuff you could create an account that's specifically for automobile stuff you can go into the tiktok shop marketplace and find the products that you want to promote on your account whatever it is you're literally taking videos with the camera on your phone eight second videos you link in the product and you're uploading the video that's it and that's all you need to do you don't need to do any customer service you don't need to reach out to shop owners you don't need to worry about purchasing the product you don't need to do anything you don't even need to reply to these comments here you just get in the product on the screen the people that want it will say yeah okay I wasn't really expecting it but there we go click on it purchase it from tiktok shop and whatever commission you get and essentially take that home and you get paid and you can see for it as an example in terms of how much demand there is for these particular products this specific one that sells for 9.99 is usually 15 that's been purchased 168,000 times and it's got a 4.6 star rating out of five. So clearly there is a market of people that are buying this. A big barrier for people that are considering TikTok shop a lot of the time is not only do they have to reach the minimum requirements, but they also have to either purchase the product that they're gonna promote, or they have to reach out to the shop owner and hope that the shop owner is kind enough to send them the product at a discounted rate or for free for them to then show in their videos and promote it. So a long winded process, whereas this person is simply just taking videos off whatever he wants to take the videos off um, linking the tiktok shop products in there and just uploading the videos on tiktok again i'm not going to knock this person i'm not saying this person is doing something wrong you know no judgment from me you know the opportunity is there they're taking advantage of it and you know they're probably getting paid on the back of it so nothing wrong with that in my eyes tiktok is clearly aware of this account they're promoting it it's been hitting my for you page pretty heavily along with other similar accounts i will say though i've not seen many accounts like this which is why you need to jump on this opportunity Again, to reiterate, it doesn't necessarily have to be your active account. This can be a passive account, a secondary account that you could purchase off someone else or you could start and grow to a thousand followers very quickly to access TikTok shop and potentially passively buy videos that are probably going to take you a minute to film. You've got another source of income. Now, what you're probably wondering is, OK, let's delve a bit deeper into TikTok shop. What is it exactly? How do I access it? What are the minimum eligibility criteria for it? And what are people potentially earning that are within TikTok shop? currently so there may be a bunch of other questions that you have about how tiktok shop in general works the video that you've got on the screen right now delves into that and answers all of those questions i'll see you in there the account you can see on the screen right now is another voiceless faceless account that is absolutely smashing its way through the creativity program beta on tiktok easily making 10k per month or more and of course in this video we're going to peel back the curtains we're going to talk about exactly what this account does what how they go about putting their videos together we're also going to talk about how much it is exactly they make so you can see what the opportunity for you is as a serious content creator on tiktok who wants to make as much money as you can an extra 100 200 500 1k or even 10k per month on the creativity program beta in 2024 the account is called don't be afraid of the ocean and they do scary amazing ocean related content 
this profile right here is definitely a hundred percent within the creativity program beta as i'm about to show you here in just a second i'm just going to do a quick scroll as well just so you guys can get an idea of how these videos are put together of course, copyright reasons you're probably not going to hear the music these are all faceless voiceless types of videos essentially the visuals and the music and the text on the video does all the talking that ever needs to be done so let's take a quick look again if you can pay attention for me to the duration of the videos if you can pay attention to the likes and just the engagement that these videos are getting and of course how often this creator is posting here we go First thing you noticed, they're pretty consistent in their posting. Pretty much every day, there's one or two videos coming out. Second thing that you will have noticed is all of these videos are just over a minute long, which only means one thing, the creativity program beta. The third thing you will have noticed as well is there is a similar theme to all the videos. They're all about the sea, whether it's massive ships going into the ocean, whether it's ships being launched for the first time into the water after being built, and whether it's just humongous waves out in the ocean. So as you can see, they're getting a pretty decent amount of views. The videos are recent, and of course, they are in the creativity program beta. And most notably, they have that video as well that you can see or should be seeing on the screen right now, which has got 27.4 million views. A video was posted just six days ago, the time of recording this video. Um, it's got 1.4 million likes. It's got 27.4 million views. Now that should get you thinking in terms of what the potential is. Okay, so let's talk about how they put their videos together. In terms of how the videos are put together, um, as I mentioned earlier, you won't have heard the audio, but they've more or less got the same song. They're following the same theme. If you've seen the film Pirates of the Caribbean, they're using um, one of the most popular songs from the theme of that movie. If you click the link in the description and go into this profile, you will hear what song that is. And they're using that on pretty much all of their videos. So essentially, they found a song that works, that resonates with the people that view these types of videos. It also resonates with the theme because Pirates of the Caribbean is largely filmed at sea. And this account is about the ocean, the sea, the scary ocean, which links back into that film. Now, in terms of how they get the content to put in these videos, it's probably clips that they've probably acquired from places like YouTube, Reddit, Facebook. Whether they've got copyrights or not, I've got no idea, but I would advise you to make sure that you cover yourself on that side. Otherwise, you are running a huge risk. And of course, the music is within TikTok. They've got little mini clips of different instances or activity happening in the ocean. And from there, they probably edit it using a free tool such as CapCut. Make sure it's just over a minute long, upload it onto TikTok, get an interesting title. And from there, just make sure that they've got the right hashtags, um, which again, are easily found within TikTok. Okay, now let's talk about the money, how much exactly they are making from the creativity program beta and why I'm saying they're making this much. What's my rationale behind this? Now, in terms of how much they're making via the creativity program beta, so I just quickly want to draw your attention onto a little note here that I found online. What you should be seeing on the screen is a search that I did on the AI tool Google Bard, just to understand a little bit more around the average um, of how much people earn on the creativity program beta. So what the average RPM is, and these are the results that came back. For those of you who don't know, Google Bard is similar to ChatGPT. Except for Google Bard, it is connected to the internet on the free version. Whereas with ChatGPT, you would have to get the paid version in order to browse the internet. At least that's what I believe. Based on the feedback from Google Bard, the overall average um, is anywhere from 50 cents all the way up to $1. So this is now not really taking into account any specific niche. This is just an overall average across the board. 
and then if we look at top performers and high performing side um, there's creators that are earning all the way up to two dollars per thousand views and on the low performing side there's creators that are earning anywhere from 20 cents to 30 cents per thousand views again it depends on the type of niche that you decide to go on to it's not very clear at this point because obviously tiktok is not being upfront in terms of what the potential payments is for different niches but this is just to give you guys an idea of where i am coming from in terms of the methodology and the rationale um, when it comes to the numbers that i'm going to be working out on this account but what i'm going to do is although they do upload very consistently um, on this account and they've probably got a, a bunch of views that they've obtained just in the month of december alone as you can see they've got this other video here as well which has got 3 million views over and above the one that's already got 27.4 million views just to give you guys an idea we're just going to work out roughly how much they've made from that one video that's got 27.4 million views and the way we'll do that is base it on the average of 50 cents per thousand views so we know that they've got 27.4 million views if i remember correctly so if we say 27.4 million and divide that by 1,000. That'll be 27,400. So if we multiply that by the 50 cents, so that's 13,700 off that one video. Now, we know that not all your views will qualify all the time on TikTok. So let's say for example, half of their views were qualifying views on that video and they most likely will have had way more than that but we're just going to say half and um, so we can divide that by two and that's how much they would have made from that one video keep in mind they're uploading consistently they've got other videos that have gone viral so they've most likely made twice potentially even three times this amount but i'm just being very very conservative and just working it based on one video but the moral of the story is they are a faceless channel on tiktok they are a voiceless channel on TikTok. They, in their creativity program beta, they are making more than what some people do, working a full-time job, way more. In fact, way more than even some CEOs or some companies make. And this is just one account. There is always a potential that the person who is running this account is running other similar profiles as well. This small, new, faceless TikTok account is easily making more than 10K per month on TikTok. And it's not via the TikTok creativity program beta. In this video, we're going to be peeling back the curtains, talking about exactly what it is they do, how they make their videos. And of course, we're also going to talk about how much it is exactly they make. And the intention is for you as someone who's serious about making an extra 100 per month, an extra 500 per month, or even an extra 1K or more per month on TikTok in 2024 as a content creator, so you can understand what the opportunity is for you. So let's jump straight in. This is the account um, at Serena underscore UTK they are a faceless voiceless tiktok account they promote tiktok shop products as you'll see in a second all of their videos have a tiktok shop product link but what's even more genius about this account on top of being faceless voiceless and still being able to gain as much as 12.3 million views in one video even though they've only got 5k followers they also promote a specific product they most likely purchased this product once but they've promoted it on multiple videos and they're earning from multiple videos just from this one particular product and they've not necessarily purchased it either they could have made a deal with promote or sell this product and gotten the product either at a discount or completely free looking at the price of the product at the most it works out at just under 20 dollars but when would have made that back easily within one or two videos Okay, so let's talk about how exactly they do their videos. I'm just gonna play through just a couple of videos here. As you can see, simple text on the screen. They've got the astronaut light in their hands. They're showing themselves taking off an older style light, an LED light and saying this is what the person who's watching the video might want to think about transitioning to. Around 17 seconds um, on one video, another video there were around 23 seconds. Some of the videos are less but the genius and the beautiful thing about tiktok shop is it doesn't matter how long your video is as long as the video is promoting the right product and you're able to get it in front of the right eyeballs that's all that matters not only are they making money per video but they've got an opportunity to keep 
uploading and where they are seeing traction as well in terms of how you access tiktok shop if you've not already got access uh, in the uk at least you need to have a minimum of 1000 followers you need to have posted within the first the last 28 days at least once and um, you need to be over the age of 18 and for the most part that's pretty much it as long as you're abiding by the tiktok community guidelines you will have access to tiktok shop as an affiliate now i'm not 100 sure what the requirements are for other countries but i think they are more or less similar i will leave a link in the description so you can get an idea of what the requirements are for tiktok shop where you are if tiktok shop is available now that you've seen all that let's talk about the money 0.3 million views so what we want to pay attention to is how many people liked this video we want to pay attention to how much the product costs as well we also want to pay attention to how much as an affiliate that you can earn when you are promoting that product as you can see at the bottom there pound 10 pen, 10 cents um, as an affiliate also like to pay attention to as well as you can see just in general in terms of how what the purchase culture is um, on the tiktok platform as an e-commerce platform i just wanted to bring this to your attention as well before we jump into exactly how much this account is most likely making so as you can see here on google um google says tiktok has over 1 billion monthly active users 80 percent of marketers currently use tiktok for marketing purposes 55 percent of tiktok users have bought something from a brand after seeing their products on the app and 50 percent of tiktok users have made a purchase after watching tiktok live so pay attention to that 50 percent because as you can see a lot of sales a lot of conversion are driven by people that are after people have noticed a product from within tiktok especially now that tiktok has their own e-commerce tools as well via tiktok shop as you can imagine once people see a product they, that they like it's literally just a couple of clicks i also want to draw your attention to this um, other note as well from root.com um, as you can see tiktok has over 1 billion monthly active users and 80 percent of 80 percent of marketers currently use tiktok for marketing purposes 55 percent of tiktok users have bought something from a brand after seeing their products on the app and 50 percent of tiktok users have made a purchase after watching tiktok live as well again similar type of note there just to give you guys an idea of how often people purchase after seeing a product on tiktok whether they go outside the app or whether they purchase from within the app which is of course a lot easier just a few clicks and impulse purchases a lot of the time and they can get the product delivered to their door after just a few clicks on the app and the reason why i'm showing everyone this is just so you can see the numbers behind how many people purchase stuff after seeing videos like this on tiktok so you can get an idea of where i'm coming from when i give you those figures so as you can see um roughly two pound ten pence per product sold as an affiliate so this is what goes into your pocket so to estimate this we're going to say on this particular video there were two hundred and seventy one thousand seven hundred people that liked this video so we're going to start there So let's start there 271,000 people liked this video so if we say um the two pound 10 pence commission and multiply that by the 271,000 people so if every one of those people purchased that, that astronaut light the data would have made this much now of course that's far-fetched that's you know a far cry it's not very likely that everyone that liked the video purchased the product so we're gonna say let's take it down to 50 percent so divide that by two and now we're saying this is how much the creator would have made if half of the people actively went and clicked the like button and liked that video purchased the astronaut light and again you say victor that's a bit far-fetched less than 50 percent of the people that liked the video would have purchased it and i say okay let's go down to 25 percent divide that again by two um if 25 percent of the people that liked not viewed liked the video purchased it this is how much that creator would have made from that particular video and of course um you know you can keep going down and say okay maybe you know less you know half of that 71k and you keep even if you keep going lower and lower and lower and get up to you know the single figures the creator would have still easily made around 10k and this is now taken into account all the other videos that they are uploading on that account promoting this particular product because you have to remember this is just one video and um, every one of their videos has got a tiktok shop link on it for that particular product
The faceless TikTok account that you can see on your screen right now makes easily more than what some people make doing a full-time job. In this video, we're gonna talk about exactly what the account does. So we're gonna do an account overview. We're gonna deconstruct the type of videos that they do so you can understand if you can do similar videos as well. And of course, we're gonna talk about how much they make exactly creating these types of videos. And as a bonus, I'm also gonna talk about the additional income stream, which I have noticed that they've stacked onto some of their videos as well. So stick with me. Let's jump into this faceless TikTok creativity program beta account overview. Okay, so as you can see, the account is called Eagle Eye World and they've got a nice tagline overlooking the world. And from what I've noticed on the account, they do videos that are related to engineering and um, big, big engineering, big vehicles, big buildings, um, big, you know, trains, locomotives, tractors, that type of thing. So just amazing, awesome stuff that the everyday person doesn't necessarily get to see. I think the content is amazing. And to be honest, some of these videos and some of the stuff that's shown on here, I'm seeing completely for the first time, which is just completely mind blowing. They're a faceless account. So you don't see someone's face. You don't see a headshot of someone speaking to the audience directly. Um, they do have an AI voice on these videos. So technically it is a voiceless channel because there's no human voice in there, but they do use AI narration um, in the videos as well. And it's, as you can see, they upload relatively consistently. They've got some videos that are doing really, really well um, from what I've noticed on the account. So what I'm going to do is just play some of the videos so you can get an idea of the types of videos that they do. I'm not going to necessarily play the audio for copyright reasons, but the visuals should hopefully give you an idea of the type of videos they do. Um, I'm also going to ask you again to pay attention to the timeline and the duration of the video, um, which I'm going to show. Also pay attention, attention to some of the engagement, how many comments they're getting, uh, how many likes they're getting, which is really good because it shows that none of that is artificial. Um, then we'll circle back and talk about exactly how they make these videos um, and of course circle back to how much money they are making towards the end of the video if you stick around as well. give you an idea of what the videos are about and how the videos are put together. So jumping straight into the next section, which is how the videos are put together. Quite simple, um, you need to source the videos that you're showing on the screen. So, and then you need the music, you need the AI voice, and of course you need to have the text on the screen that goes with the AI voice as well. The AI voice element is quite simple. You're talking about 11 labs or similar AI tools that will convert your script into a voice. Um, in terms of the script itself, tools like ChatGPT, uh, Google Bard or similar AI tools in order to build that script for you. You could go and look on blogs online and get some inspiration in terms of how other people are scripting these types of videos and maybe go into AI and get it to change and amend those articles or scripts so you can make them unique and make them your own drop them into 11 labs and you've got your script and ultimately tiktok will automatically put in the text on the screen to go along with that script in terms of the videos themselves you could easily source videos like this from platforms such as youtube reddit facebook and other video based platforms you could contact the people that have uploaded the original owners of the copyright or alternatively um, you can transform the videos to an extent that they fall under fair use and you're able to use them and monetize them on other platforms some people will take the short route and just take the videos and just re-upload them elsewhere without really changing a lot you can do that as well but that is at your own risk the video could potentially be flagged and you could end up getting the whole account taken away so 
again that's something that you can you know risk if you feel like you want to take that risk on your shoulders and the rest of the editing you can easily get that done in a tool like CapCut, which again is owned by ByteDance, who owns tiktok um, or you can use um an external editing tool but to make it easier or to get an easier workflow you could easily just edit it within tiktok itself as well which technically is CapCut because tiktok again is owned by the same company that owns CapCut. um so all of that can be done in there in terms of the hashtags the description all that again tiktok can easily do that natively you don't have to make that any more complicated than it should be the music that's also natively within tiktok so essentially 80 90 percent of what you need is within tiktok um, the rest is just sourcing the clips getting the script making sure it's a script that's engaging making sure your hooks are on point which they are um, within this um, account from what i've seen and the rest is just within tiktok ready for you to use in terms of views from what i've worked out on this account um, they should have received for the month of december alone um, around four million views are about they're pretty consistent uploader and they've had a few videos that have gone viral in december as well i think one was like 1.8 million and another um was like let me just go back and see if i can find those i may not be able to find them again now while i'm doing this video um but there was a couple that i noticed that did really well there's that 1.5 million one there and there is um, a couple of others as well um, but essentially you've got that one that was four days ago at 806.6k um, um, views and you have got um, a bunch of others as well let's have a look so another one there 400,000 and you have got a few others 300k there and that was only in December again and you have also got 400k there in december so overall from what i've worked out and again feel free to visit the profile the link is in the description they're averaging around four maybe 3.5 4 million views um, per month at least that's what they've done in december on this account and this is a relatively um new account as well um because i know some people are going to say oh it's a big account of course it's going to do well um they were a small account not so long ago the earliest video that i've been able to locate from their account was the 7th of september so you have to be small account before you become a big account and there's no reason why you can step into um, a similar niche something along these lines and grow it from a small account as well so you start small and then you grow and you become this big um, it's certainly possible for anyone that's watching this video to achieve those numbers as well so if we work out how much they make exactly um, if we look at our to at our friend Google Bard um, and ask what the average rpm is on the creativity program beta of course as you can see um, the average rpm tends to be um, anywhere around 50 cents in the middle on the lower end it's around 30 to 20 cents on the higher end um, it's anywhere all the way up to two dollars per thousand views in this case i'm going to be conservative and say they get 50 cents rpm uh, based on that if we take the four million uh, views that they get and we divide that by 1000 because you get paid per thousand views on TikTok um, and then we multiply that by their 50 cents RPM and that works out at around 2000 per month um, and of course this is just a conservative conservative estimate they could easily be getting um, double that amount at 4000 per month or even more than that and the genius thing that this account has done as you can see on the screen right now they've also added a link to a course that they've created onto their videos and the crazy thing is this is only a six minute um this is even less than less effort than i've put into this youtube video just a six minute long course which they're selling for 15 pounds people are buying it because there are some reviews on it which is just completely insane um so not only are they earning from the creativity program beta but they're also earning from this course that they are selling online as well so they're stacking their revenue sources in addition to this what you also have to keep in mind is you're not tied just to tiktok you don't have to just upload these videos onto tiktok there are other platforms such as instagram facebook there's youtube so technically you could be uploading this content elsewhere as well you make the video once and you upload it onto different platforms so there's no telling how much more money they could potentially be making if they un upload this content onto other monetized platforms in addition to that this 
is an account where you're not showing your face, you're not talking. So the scalability is there in terms of creating more accounts like this. We don't know if this person owns this one account. We don't know if they own 10 or five. So it's a crazy, crazy opportunity if you are someone that's able to put the time aside and put in some work and put these types of videos together in the year, during the year 2024 and really just get your foot in the door into earning some of that income again. Again, what I've mentioned there is 2000 based on the estimate views and this is based on 50 cents RPM. This is just a conservative estimate. They could be earning anywhere more than, you know, a dollar, um, you know, all the way upwards of two dollars so they could easily be making four six k a month from the views they received just in september not to mention november um not to mention you know earlier months as well so i've discovered a voiceless faceless tiktok account that is absolutely crushing it on the creativity program beta and in this video we're going to talk about how exactly they're making upwards of 500 dollars per day we're going to talk about what type of videos they do how they create these videos we're going to talk about how much exactly they make and more importantly what opportunity is there for you as a serious content creator wanting to make as much money as you can on the creativity program beta in 2024 so let's jump straight into it so the account I'm talking about is none other than the Ocean Hunting account on TikTok. They upload weird and wonderful content about the ocean on their profile. As you can see, it's all to do with the ocean, ships, mysteries, amazing style videos. And we are going to just do a quick speed run on some of the videos as well to get an idea of what kind of videos they are. And we're also going to prove that they are in the creativity program beta but very quickly you can see some of the views got a recent video which has got 76.8 million views they've got another video which is at 23 million views and another one that's at 8.4 million views so in a second i'm just gonna play some of these videos pay attention to the length or the duration of the videos at the bottom of the screen and of course do take note of how many how much likes and how much engagement these videos are getting as well do also pay attention to how recently some of those videos has have been posted and we're going to circle back in just a few seconds and talk about these videos and this amazing account further So as you can see, these videos are doing pretty well, even the ones that were uploaded very recently. But more importantly, you can see that all of the videos that we've looked at so far are all over one minute. And that is not by accident. That shows that the uploader of this content is making sure that their videos are meeting the minimum requirements for the creativity program beta and of course getting paid in the process. And I can tell you straight away, if you're getting views which are around 76.8 million when you're in the creativity program beta and provided that video that it qualifies and it doesn't break any community guidelines you are in a very very good position to be raking it in within this monetization too so in terms of how they create these videos and how you can go about creating similar videos as well the first theory that i would go into unless you're someone that's actively involved in the oceanographic space and you are personally taking this footage using your equipment we can only assume that these are clips that this creator has sourced from somewhere it could have been from youtube facebook it could have been from reddit or any other site where amazing videos are uploaded that are to do with the ocean all they'd have to do is download those video clips transform them somehow maybe add text if there's talking in the video maybe put in some sort of twist or interesting edit to make the videos their own and make sure that they are bypassing the whole copyright situation um, however they are getting them i can only imagine and i can only theorize that they are getting the clips from somewhere and re-uploading them on tiktok and equally for you you can do the same thing if you can source content from sites like youtube um you know reddit facebook 
Instagram and find some way of transforming the content to an extent where it's transformed enough to bypass copyright laws or purchase the content so you can re-upload it somewhere else. As long as you're not breaking copyright rules and guidelines, you can simply take it, transform it and re-upload it on sites like TikTok. They're not talking in the videos and um, they are not showing their face in the videos. All they do is just re-upload the content, put in an interesting caption, make sure that they're putting in a description and make sure that they are putting in some hashtags as well. So TikTok can classify the content and from there, they've essentially gotten to a stage where TikTok knows the type of audience that is interested in this type of content. So in terms of the music side of it, again, TikTok has got built-in music that you can upload. Now, for copyright reasons, I'm not going to play the music in this particular video, but I had noticed earlier while I was going through the account that a lot of these videos are one of the main soundtracks from the Pirates of the Caribbean film, which fits in perfectly with the style of videos that they are uploading so i imagine that at some point they tried different styles of music they came across this one song that really works well and really resonates with their audience and the content that they're creating and therefore they've just continued using that song throughout and it's working for them if something works um why change it in terms of working out exactly how much money this account is making you couldn't say 100 percent it's obviously tiktok at this point does not disclose how much people are making so we can only estimate the average rpm when it comes to the creativity program beta it tends to be around the 30 cents to 50 cents mark so if we were to say this account is getting an rpm of around 50 cents let's take for example this video that has got 76.8 million views so if we start with 76 8 million views on that one video that video was uploaded on the 12th of december by the way that is a very recent video and it's absolutely gone super viral so if we take the 76.8 million views and if we divide that by 1000 because you get paid per thousand views on tiktok we've got 76,800 now i understand that the views have to be qualified views so it's possible that they're getting paid for less than this amount of views but to start with let's say um they had all of their views qualifying at 76,800. all we need to do is multiply that by a say 50 cent rpm and this is how much they've gotten just from that one particular video and then you come back to me and say hey victor these guys will have not been receiving payment for all of their views it's not very likely that their views are all qualifying i hear that i get that so if we were to say um half of those views are qualifying all we need to do is divide that by two and we can say they received 19,200 off that one video and if we divide that by 31 days even though we know this video was only uploaded like in the middle of december um you can see they'd be getting around 619 dollars per day Keep in mind again, this particular video was uploaded only in the middle of December. And keep in mind, they are uploading pretty much consistently daily. So the $500 per day is a very, very conservative estimate. It's very likely that they are earning much, much more than that. Even if they are getting a pitiful CPM, it's likely that they're getting a pretty healthy amount that they're getting paid from their creativity program beta all from simply sourcing the right clips transforming them enough uploading them back onto tiktok putting in the right hashtags putting in text on the screen putting the right music and uh, not talking not showing their face and simply just re-uploading the content is this something you think you can do is this a niche that you think you can maybe step into as well or can you find a similar niche that people are not seeing a lot of on tiktok amazing content around buildings amazing content around space amazing content around you know lake big engineering that sort of stuff what content is out there and killing it on youtube facebook instagram reddit that there's not a lot of videos off on tiktok so it's just something that's worth thinking about if you are serious about making as much money as you can on the creativity program beta in 2024 on the screen, the video that you can see shows more examples of accounts on TikTok, small accounts that are absolutely killing it when it comes to monetization tool options that are available on TikTok. So you want to click on that video and so I can show you more options that are available for you as a small content creator. I'll see you in there.
The creator that you can see on the screen right now easily makes anywhere from multiple five figures to six figures per month on the creativity program beta. In this video, we're going to talk about five lessons that we can learn from this creator that's utilizing a lazy method to make a ton of money using TikTok. So I'm going to talk about how exactly they make this much and what you can learn and leverage from studying what they are doing. So yeah, let's jump into this video and do give me a big thumbs up if you find value from within this content. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So you need to find a formula that works. Once you've found it, you just need to stick to it. And from there, you just rinse and repeat and the algorithm will absolutely love you for it. You see what the algorithm does in not just TikTok, but many similar platforms. It finds an audience or it seeks to find an audience for your content. And once it finds that audience for you, it'll check your next piece of content to see if it is eligible to be served to that same content and if it's not then it'll most likely try and find new audience groups for you and that's where that slow process of getting views comes in that's where that slow growth comes in algorithm cannot find any audience for you whereas if you stick to the same winning formula that's proven on your account if you've got a couple of videos that have done very very well if you continue doing similar videos if you're happy with that style of video then the algorithm will absolutely love you for it and it'll be easier for it to find audience for you because you've already found an audience because your videos are doing very well if that makes sense no face no voice still works if you do it right so do your research find topics that work and from there do the upfront work in order to get ahead of many different people once you do the upfront work once you do the research you'll find that over time you're one of the few people that don't have to work as hard because you've done the work up front what i mean by that simply use the search bar on tiktok find topics that work take a bit more time than other people to find topics that work until you settle on the right video style the right topic um, scalable content content that you're you can create content that you comfortable with and content that you're always going to have ideas or find ideas easily for once you do that research and couple that with being able to create that content and the algorithm finding those people for you there's no reason why your account can't be successful as well it's hard at the beginning it's hard finding those topics it does take a bit of testing trial and error maybe trying a few different niches a few different accounts but once you settle on that one that works like this account right here has then essentially that's it you just need to rinse and repeat and do the same thing regular uploads aren't always the answer this creator doesn't upload that regularly at most they upload a couple of times a month but would you need to upload more than that if you are getting this many views and potentially making this much money from tiktok the answer is it's up to you um, but clearly they're not exhausting their audience with content and this just goes to show you don't have to be someone that uploads regularly consistently once you reach the level where they are at as well and still be seeing the success that you are seeing again it lies within tiktok finding the right audience for you and you sticking to a formula that works so that every time you upload a video even if it's two weeks later tiktok can easily find those different points within that video those different triggers and know exactly that i know who to send this video to i know who's responded positively to this video in the past let me take it let me run it past that pocket of people and every time you're going to start seeing spikes like this creator is ASMR is not going anywhere. If you're so inclined, if you're an ASMR content creator, this is clearly and obviously an evergreen genre of content, not just on TikTok, but on multiple other platforms as well. And this is an example of just that. So don't give up if you are struggling within the ASMR niche. If it's something that's close to your heart that you'd like to continue doing and potentially make an income from and even go full time, study accounts like this and learn from them you don't have to carbon copy every single thing they do including the video that they do learn what works for them and see if you can replicate that within your content as well regardless of the type of asmr that you're doing what works for accounts like this there's no reason why it wouldn't work for you as well 
you need to find a repeatable, scalable format of content. So once you are going through that research phase and trying to find videos that work for you, find videos that you're comfortable creating, videos that are repeatable and videos that are scalable as well. So videos that are not just limited to your one account. If you ever become successful, reach the follower goals and the financial goals that you want to reach for that one particular account, ask yourself this question, where would I go there? Where to next? Where can I scale this account? Is this a multi-platform type of content? Can I upload this on YouTube? Can I upload this on Instagram and still see more or less similar levels of success as I am on TikTok? Or is this just a TikTok native type of video that will not work anywhere else? Little things like that. You just need to start looking ahead, even at the beginning of your journey, at the beginning of your account, so that you don't find yourself finding wild levels of success on TikTok, but not being able to scale your content and go anywhere else with it. I'm a living example of that. I've got videos that I've done relatively well on TikTok in the past. I've got videos that I haven't done so well, but I was able to scale those videos over onto YouTube to the extent where I've now seen millions of views on my short comedy videos. I've done a video in the past, um, which I will link somewhere in the description or it may be on the screen about how I got millions of views on my YouTube shorts. But do check that out. So think about whether you're able to upload those videos just on one platform or whether they are scalable so you don't limit yourself. TikTok moves very quickly and social media in general moves very quickly and you certainly don't want to find yourself in a box that you cannot get out of because you didn't plan for it accordingly in the beginning. These are five lessons that I've specifically picked out from this case study on this account. I hope you found these useful. If you are interested in learning more about making money on TikTok, the different methods that you can use to make money on TikTok, the video that is available on the screen covers exactly just that. I'll see you in there. This account you can see on the screen right now makes anywhere from 2000 on the low end to 4000 on the high end per month on TikTok. In the last 30 days, they gained over 12 million views. But how exactly did they do this? What type of content do they make? How do we know they're in the creativity program beta? And most importantly, what can you take away to apply into your content and hopefully start winning on TikTok as well? That's exactly what we're going to cover in this video. I'm going to walk you through exactly what they do. We're going to reverse engineer their process and as I say hopefully you can take some of that away and apply that into your own content strategy as well very quickly before we jump into that I've created a new newsletter if you want to stay up to date with latest tips and tricks and different strategies on how to grow on TikTok as well as a monthly TikTok audit as well where I show you what is working on the TikTok for you page to I can click the link in the description it's completely free of charge what can you lose in addition to that if you want to pick my brain when it comes to TikTok content strategy growth as well as monetization the link is in the description for now let's jump straight into this video So here is the account here. It's called Would You Rather Zero Three. And in terms of what we're going to do again, we're just going to reverse engineer what their process is so you can take home uh, some of the steps that they're taking and hopefully start winning on your TikTok account as well. Now, in terms of the niche that the account is in, um, as you can see, they ask Would You Rather questions. So it's kind of a gaming quiz style niche uh, niche where they ask multiple would you rather questions in a single video they do this so they can make the video longer um, basically they're taking something popular and relatable and creating content around it a lot of people around the world are familiar with the would you rather game or would you rather question whether it's adults or whether it's young people so they're taking something that everyone knows about and turning it into a nice package which is a video that's easily digestible and um, easily consumable and that urges people to engage and comment now in terms of how we know that they're in the creativity program beta that's quite simple i'm going to show you a few examples here watch the duration of the video at the bottom
as you can see the majority of their videos are a minute or longer um, so they are definitely in the creativity program beta because for those of you who don't know in order to qualify for the creativity program beta amongst other requirements such as being over 10,000 followers deep which they definitely are um, you do need your videos need to be at least a minute long in order for them to be considered and these videos right here are definitely more than a minute long which is a signal that they are within the creativity program beta Now, in terms of how we know uh, how many views they've had, we've used a tool called Social Blade for that, um, which is right here. Um, you might have heard of Social Blade. There we go. So we can see that they've got 300,000 likes in the last 30 days. Now, having looked at their account, their like to view ratio is essentially they, their likes equate to 24% of however many views each video has on average or thereabouts. So based on that, we've estimated that they're getting around 12 million views per month. So how is this content winning how is this account winning so essentially what this account is doing is with every video like i said it's more than a minute long um, and the content style encourages the viewer to engage so the more viewers engage obviously the more qualified views they are going to receive as an account and they're essentially spending longer on the video if i show you for example if i start commenting on a video and a lot of these videos encourage people to comment you'll notice that the video is still playing even if I pause the video, that is still counted as watch time for that content creator. So, for example, if I go into the Kendall Jenner video here. As you can see, even if I'm pausing the video so I can comment, that still classes as watch time for them. So, almost every person that watches these videos will be inclined to comment because for a start tiktok is serving this type of content to people that have a history of watching similar content so it's targeting the people that are interested in this type of stuff and on top of that this person or this creator is encouraging them to comment like and share because simply because of the niche that they're in and because of the questions that they're asking as well so because of that this automatically puts them in a position where they are going to go over the five second minimum in order to qualify for the creativity program beta now for those of you who don't know within the creativity program beta there's something called qualified views and what that means is you could have uh, say you know 9.3 million views in a video and only have say 8 million qualified views the qualified views are views that are over five seconds long there is other criteria as well they can't come from the same person playing your video over and over for example um, it, they can't come from people that have disliked your video and a bunch of other stuff but essentially they are already taking a step in the direction in the sense that when the person is commenting on the video and engaging with it they are likely going over that five second minimum so a lot of their views will be what's called qualified views within the creativity program beta so it's really really good um, niche to be in if you are someone that's looking to make money within the creativity program beta now in addition to this when we look at how they make their videos um, I would quite simply say you looking at a tool like 11 labs for the voice um, if you listen to some of the videos i might not do because of potential copyright issues on the music but if you go uh, i've clicked the uh, i've placed the link in the description and um, if you click on the link and go to the account and check some of the videos out and um, you'll notice that they are um, majority in majority um, ai voice videos in addition to that the background is more or less the same on every video they just change the images and um, you can use a simple tool like canva for that or you can use a more advanced tool like adobe premiere um, questions that they ask in every video those are simple just use a tool like chat gpt or you can use google's bard or similar ai tools to generate the questions for you so essentially your opportunity for the questions is virtually limitless you'll never run out of ideas because of um, the amount of ai tools that are available out there and of course once you've done all that you can bring it all together using a video editing tool such as CapCut, which is incidentally owned by tiktok as well and create 
the videos um, and the thing about this account if you look at the dates they're not posting daily they don't have to they get that many views that they don't even need to post daily but if they were posting daily and consistently they'd potentially be getting even more views than what they're getting currently so you you can just imagine basically you can go wild with your imagination in terms of what the opportunity is with this style of video Now that you've seen that, you might be wondering, seeing more example of people that are making a ton of money on TikTok. In fact, there's one particular account that makes 20,000 per month. And I go through exactly what their process is and reverse engineer exactly how they go about doing this. That is the video that you can see on the screen right now. I'll see you in there.